Hi kids, it's Eureka here from season nine of RuPaul's Drag Race straight off the runway. I'm gonna be giving you a soft but pretty mall look. I will be going from this to this. So you all probably remember this look from one of our challenges. It's a look that a lot of people didn't expect to see me do because they're so used to me painting so heavy and so big that they loved it and they were very surprised. So I'm gonna show you all how I go from painted back to painted halfway. <laughs> I'm always painted back. Now we're gonna start with a little foundation. I don't like to do all the blending of foundations, I just wanna get like literally a blank canvas and then we go from there. I like to use a really greasy foundation. I have really dry skin, so I always moisturize pretty good. And then I do a, uh, an easier spread foundation because it's easier to spread on my face, plus I have a big ass face. So if I use too thick of a foundation, it takes me forever to blend it in. And I just like to pat out, especially around my mouth, Make sure I press that foundation in under my eyes. Then I'm gonna take my big old powder poof. Cause you really want to make sure you press that powder into that greasy foundation or else you're gonna still be greasy. So moving on, I'm going to start next on my contour. I like to start with my contour being like a dark burgundy brown just to get like the outer edging and then blend up from there. Um, I've got my nice angled, not so big and fluffy brush first and I'll kind of dip. And then I take any kind of thing that has like a straight line. So I line it, boom, boom. And that's really the way the face works. So it works just about on anybody. And then I take a fluffier brush to kind of blend that darker in the cheek here. And I go ahead and do my forehead contour. Now, I've got these parking lots, girl, so I like to really get those covered up. I'm gonna take my contour and I start behind the ear and I bring it right underneath my jawbone. Look at that. And then on stage, it looks like I have a neck. And then I come back to my fluffy brush, which a nice big fluffy brush helps us blend. And this is to help like not make that line look so dramatic. So at first look, it's not like, oh my God, why is there like a random brown strip? Does the bitch have a beard? No, because I'm blending this contour down into my neck. So it all looks like a part of the illusion. From this point, I like to move to some blending browns. So you can use any kind of glow kit, which is what I like to use for this specific face. And I use like, some goldy bronzies and I come in and I literally just use like several different colors of these goldy bronzy light browns etc and I come in and I blend the outside areas just like towards the lighter part so I'm moving on I just use my same powder puff girl y'all know I am country's a biscuit and I'm cheap I like hair and costumes so I'm always trying to figure out how to cut budgeting but I use the same uh, powder that I set my foundation with to begin with. I don't, um, cause I use a little bit of highlight later. I don't use like different powders. Like I said, I'm a cheap hoe, so I work with what I can and I like to just keep it at the basics. I'm gonna come back to my contour base because I need to do a little nose contour. So I like to use a fan brush. Um, you can get it just about anywhere. I've literally used uh, painting fan brushes before. Girl, do what you gotta do, make it work. So I come in at the bridge of my nose and I line it up to where the beginning of my eyebrows would be. And I'm dipping into that dark brown again, but I'm barely brushing because I don't want it to be too crazy dark. I also take my fan brush and I kind of curve right here and it helps look button nose. <laughs> I need to highlight my nose a little bit. So I like to use um, a shimmery color for this look that I'm going for because I wanna be very soft and pretty and do like a little extra feminine touch. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put highlight in my nose here and it's just a really bright, but trust me, in the end result, it's lovely. And then now I'm gonna move into my eyes. 
I need to work on um, my white blend and then I do my crease and my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows last in my eye makeup. It's so weird. So I'm taking my white and I like to come into the corner. It really helps uh, open my eye. And then I go ahead and do the whole lid so that I have something to shape around. I do come up here with my white and I do a triangle. Literally, my face is made out of shapes. So I come in after doing my white obtuse triangles, uh, my half a circle, <laughs> oh God, into some browns. I go back to that, those, um, another kind of blending brown, like it's another glow palette that I use and it's a little bit of a darker shimmer brown. And I literally just use this because it's easy to like blend black, blend a color. It's something I can go over with pretty easy. Now, and I come in and I start at the corner and I round out my crease. And again, I'm creating shapes. And I like to bring it into my nose contour. Now I'm gonna come into my crease with a darker brown. So now I'm gonna go back to my cheek because I'm ridiculous and that's what I do. I'm gonna come in with a little color just to be extra. Mostly because I like to just kind of let that pink set because I don't want it to be as dark as it looks right now. I wanna go with a little bit of uh, bronzy-ish gold and I'm gonna come right above where I did that crease line and I'm gonna blend some of this gold here. I'm gonna take my white brush and I'm gonna blend in circular motions that little bronzy gold. Then I come back with my fluffy brush. I go back to my golds. I literally go back and forth. So y'all have to keep up, I'm so crazy. And I come over the color pink after I let it set for a minute. You see how it just blends it together? Shut up. I'm gonna redo my powder. I redo it periodically under my eyes so that way if some the fallout's happening, I don't want it to settle, I don't want it to, I don't know, I get paranoid. So I redo it a lot. So I'm gonna come in and I'm doing Etch-A-Sketch. That's my life. Etch-A-Sketch eye makeup. If you notice, it's super black. I'm coming back in under my eye here and I'm just gonna connect that corner. And I like to just come right underneath this corner of my eye. Now some girls can close their eye off, I can't. My eyeball is so small, I always have that issue with such a big face. If I close my whole eyeball off, I have to wear a really bright contact or something like that so you can even see my eyes. So I come in with my fluffy black brush and I'm just kind of blending that. Now I come in and I like to just blend right underneath my eye too. I don't like really sharp lines in my makeup. So I'm gonna come back to um, my browns in my eye. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with that goldish color first. I'm gonna blend in some of that gold again. I'll blend it down over my black here. You want your darkest part of your eye to be always the outer crease and then blend out to lighter. And it's all about going back and forth over colors to help blend those colors together. I am going to do a little bit of glitter lid. This is where stuff gets tricky. Not really tricky, tricky, but it depends on you. You have to be really careful with glitter. I am so old school drag. Like I was raised by a Southern, Southern drag queen, pageant queen, former Miss Gay, US of A at large, my amazing drag mother, Jacqueline St. James, who was taught, honey, she is 90s drag down. Now, girl, they didn't have all these products and stuff, so she stays so true to the old school methods. So now the old school girls, they were ballsy, girl. And I like to think I have big kahunas. So I spray a little hairspray on a surface. Now I use a flat, like old brush that I don't use a lot. I dip my brush in the hairspray, and then I take it and I dip it in the glitter. And then I always brush one side on the edge of it, and then I start at the edge of my crease and work my way down. Now, when I do my glitter lids, I don't bring it all the way down to my lashes. I leave a section where I don't put glitter because we all do liquid liner, right? We gotta seal that eye off. And plus, just don't put glitter too close to your eyelash line because you really wanna be careful not to get that glitter in your eyes. 
So from that, I'm gonna move on to my liquid liner. This is a little trick that I do to make my crease just a little more prominent. I take my liquid liner and I do just this little chunk right here. And then I'm gonna pat right here where I just did that black. And then I move back to my brown brush and I'm gonna blend just the top edge of that black one more time with my brown brush. That's all about blending. I dab on that black part and then I barely brush. So I'm gonna move on. I'm going to get a brown pencil. So now my Etch-A-Sketch eyebrows. Now for me, the best way to line up my eyebrows, beside your eyeball is where your arch should be. In line with the side of your nose is where the beginning should be. And then your eyebrows should end diagonally from your nostril to the corner of your eye to the end of your brow. So I take a dark burgundy brown and I do the bottom line. I like to go in with a really small brush and I take a little black and I come right here. Just that bottom arch line. Now I'm gonna move into blending my eyebrow. I like blended eyebrows. Some people call them ombre brows, but I'm literally about blending everything. And I'm gonna blend a little bit there. And then I'm gonna take a lighter one. I'm gonna blend the beginning here of my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna take a cream and I'm actually gonna blend down from my nose up into that eyebrow. I like the top line of my eyebrow and the bottom line to be kind of prominent, so I'll come back in a little over the top. My eyebrows are done, so I'm gonna move on to my lashes. Are you all ready, little lashes? Like I said earlier, I'm kind of old school, so I'm gonna bring it back to the 90s, and I like to still use the old super wig bonding glue. I take one of my brushes, uh, take the end that's not the brush head, and I dip it in my glue, and I just kind of wipe it on my um, lash here. And the good thing about this, watch. This is my glue, it's black, right? Ew, right? Watch. It's liquid latex. Boom, you just rub it and it comes off. Mind blown! So I place it on my outside corner first, okay? And it's still kind of lifted. And then I just very carefully, a little bit at a time, press it down right along that line. <sighs> Bitch, why are you all gagging? I bring it to you every tutorial. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on some mascara and it's gonna help me blend my actual lashes into my falsies. I only do the out edge of my bottom because I like to keep my eye open here. I'm gonna do a lighter lip color for this look because I just wanna go very nudey, natural, like um, Kardashian 2013 circuit matte nude lip with my goldy tones. With a lighter lip, I look a lot less dramatic than if I go with a very hard red lip. It'll make a huge difference. Now that's my liquid lipstick. I'm gonna go in with a gloss. So I'm gonna go with a very natural nude gloss too. Because I did the gold glitter, I like to do just a touch of glitter in my highlight zone for my lip. I'm gonna move on to blending my cheeks one more time and my forehead. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight on my cheek, right underneath the cheek. So now my mug is fully realized. I'm gonna put on some hair, get my little dress together, let you all see a finished look, and I'm going to go from this to this. Having you sex vixen, library and realness, honey. Were you all truly ready? Y'all thought I was gonna come out looking like a big old fat clown man thing, didn't you? Well, guess what, baby? I'm the tits. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.